Here's a really set of productive females, all home raised. There's, one, there's only one horn one in here and she sits in the front, so I'll take her out. <laughs> it's right in the front. Now I said red angus. Red, actually, the cast are kind of three quarter red angus, quarter bramer. So the cast have a flake ear in them as well. But all these cattle cab, big, big country, cab unassisted. These calves we placed out when they grow up to the heifer calves. There's three heifers you keep off these cows. They'll make great recent cows. Y'all guys been embryos in. They'll make phenomenal recent. Look how big the calves are. They'll make phenomenal embryo recipient cows. I mean, can you imagine raising young beautiful people in the hunger? Wow. Put your embryo in these ladies. I mean. The embryos, the embryos fall in love with these cows. They're so sexy. There's a couple yearlings in there that don't go. So there's a couple yearlings. All the calves are kind of that size. They know they started to These girls started to calve in the last week of January. And these here all kind of calved out by the first part. I guess this is a few April calves in here. So the April is the top to all. So. Every year I sell them out of this ranch. They have roughly 120 pairs kind of all the time, so it's kind of a shooting floor. So we have more in the woods, obviously. They're, they're red Angus, their base is red Angus. So you'll just love the udders they have on these females. You'll just love them. I've become a grand Angus raised the first red Angus. But I've sold 40 of those damn bulls this past year because I believe in them, okay? Whew. Those like those American reds, those Kurt red Angus grasses. American reds, baby. I like them. Real set of females, guys. Make you money. I love them. Each for a long time, the udders are phenomenal. Not enough good things I can say about this herd. I've been with this guy for 20 years, and this herd never lets me down.